What's going on guys? Matt Wasik here, CEO, founder of Landscape Marketing Pros, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be introducing an asset to you that is more important than any mower, skid steer, truck, trailer, or anything out there. Now don't get me wrong, I know that this is not the sexiest topic to talk about when it comes to owning an outdoor service company, but when it comes to actually scaling your business and building it and growing it and making serious money as opposed to just being the guy that's on the mower and you're just cutting grass every single day, all day, that's all you want to do, which if you want to do that, that is just fine. But if you do want to take your business to the next level, this is the type of content and types of things that you need to implement into your business to then be able to scale it. And this magical thing is called an email list. And what this really comes down to is that you have a list of people that have entered their name and contact information and are interested in what your company does, what your company sells, what your company can do for them. And you have a means to contact them either via email. You can also take this to the next level by taking your email list that you've built up and uploading it to both Facebook as well as Google AdWords. Then you can retarget the people that are on your list with ads on Facebook and Google Display Network as well as YouTube. And this is very, very powerful because these people already know who you are. When you put some type of offer in front of them, it's going to be a lot easier to sell to them. So anyways, let's hop into my computer and break this down and you go about building a list of people that are interested in what it is that you're actually selling. And so in a second here, we're going to hop into my computer. I'm going to show you how you can turn this into tens of thousands of dollars in revenue for your company by doing a little bit of smart, focused work and utilizing and leveraging resources available to you, such as mail chimp to generate more clients for your business and in turn make more money so let's get to it already welcome into my computer and by the way if you like this type of content and want to learn more about how to grow and scale and market your business especially online be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button make sure you smash that notification bell so that way you know when the newest content comes out here on the channel so what we are doing initially to try to get people onto your email list is to create some type of opt-in offer so opting in the term is when someone willingly puts their contact information into to a opt-in form and then they click submit and then it adds that information to your company's database that you have in your autoresponder if you're using MailChimp or SendLane, any of these other type of autoresponders. So then immediately after they click submit, they will be redirected to a page on your website where you basically will have a video or maybe some text or an image, something along the lines of basically introducing them to your company, who you are, what you're all about, all that type of good stuff and what they can expect to see by being on your email list. If you are on the Landscape Marketing Pros email list, you will no, this is exactly what I've done with my company. Something that you should do as well. It's just going to be a little bit different content, obviously, because it's two vastly different types of services, but the concept it remains the same, basically welcoming them into it. Now, in order to entice someone to get onto your list, you have to give them something of value. You cannot just have it say, subscribe for newest updates or whatever. And I know that when you create these types of things, especially in WordPress, that's like the default title of it, but you want there to actually be something that they get in exchange for giving away their contact information because to most people, their email address and their name or their phone number or whatever it is has a lot of value and they don't want to be blasted by just anything out there. So you need to give them something of value. This can be like a free video series teaching them something or it could be a free downloadable guide where you basically create a PDF and host it through your site and they get access to it through your site and it's sent via email, all that good stuff. For an outdoor service company, this could be something that teaches them about their lawn that they may not know already. But the real basis of this is explaining the value of the services that your company provides regardless of the service that you are selling. It teaches them the importance of actually purchasing services from your company. And so what this is doing is creating the very early stage of building trust and rapport. Selling to people can be very tough if you do not have these two things. And this is building trust and rapport, which is exactly what I'm doing right here on this very channel, on this video that you are watching in hopes that you come and check out my company service. You mean he's putting videos on YouTube in hopes to actually make money? He's not just posting mindless content for nothing. He wants to make money. What? That is not okay in the least bit. Where is the uproar? Yes, I'm posting content here on the channel for you to come check out, watch it get some value from it, learn some strategies that you can put to use in your business, make more money, and then we also want you to come and check out our services. What a concept. Create value in order to attract people to then get them to try to sign on for your services and make more money. Kind of like what I'm teaching you to do in this very video to do with your prospective clients. Put something out there for them to be interested in, they come and they consume whatever content that is, and then you send them an offer for said service that you are selling. What a concept. It works. Building trust and rapport. Love it. Anyways, back to the serious talk about email lists and making money. Next, what you're going to want to do, continue building trust and rapport by sending them 
valuable content via email, related teaching, teaching them the value of your service and the importance of the services that you offer. Increasing home value with landscaping is a huge one. Better curb appeal, making their neighbors jealous. You can also be teaching them certain things with the seasonal changes, such as when they need to get their irrigation blown out or how often they need to be watering when it's 95 degrees out. The list goes on and on and on. Hopefully this is getting some ideas turning in your mind so that way you have some ideas in your mind of what you could be sending for content to these prospective clients. But here's the mainstay that you have to be focused on every single time. Focus on the value that their home or business is getting from the services that your company offers. This is huge. You can use this though with examples such as case studies from past or current clients, what you're working on right now. You could literally do a video live on YouTube and embed it into an email or email, or you could just send them the link from the email straight to the video, however you wanna go about it, or you could even just plan it out that, hey, we're going live at this job site to show you what we can do for your home and how amazing we can make it look. I literally just pulled that idea out of the sky and I might have to implement that over at Landscape Marketing Pros for our clients. You can also do stats related to your services. The home value increasing is a big one when it comes to landscape installs. Referencing related surveys, the list really goes on, but again, just value, 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 and plant that into their mind so that way they see, hey, this company actually cares. They just, they aren't just some mow and blow company that's gonna come and take my 30 bucks, hack down my grass, and call it a day. There are clients out there, but there are lots and lots of clients who actually want to be engaged with the company that they're doing business with, especially with the people that are around my age range, which is mid twenties, so that are now starting to actually purchase homes and, and actually purchase these services. They're a lot more involved with technology, a lot more involved with social media than people that are say 65 years old that did not grow up with it. Doing this alone will help you stand out so much, especially locally from the competition, but you're gonna have to get creative. I can almost guarantee that by default, just sending informative content via an email list is going to set you so far ahead. There's probably less than 5% of the companies in really just, I'd say the United States that even do this. So this is something that is, if you wanna catch into a trend that's going to be increasing very, very much here in the future, now would be the time to do this. Now, when it comes to the actual content of the emails, what the heck are you sending them? Basically what this can be is an abbreviated version of your blog post or your video, which again, I highly recommend. It's a lot more interactive. But now, hold on, whoa, whoa, when when do we start making money? I'm doing all this work, I haven't made any money. This is like me going and getting flyers and handing them out and only getting 40 bucks worth of lawn mowing services. Whoa, that's a scam. Uh, or I'm going out there, and I'm spending all kinds of money on marketing, I'm not making money yet, or I'm, I'm paying 30 bucks to get a client that only spends $30 every week. That, what? All right. Aside from my really crappy acting, but it's literally some of the stuff that I see where people are complaining about having to invest a little bit of money into advertising their business to grow it over the course of multiple months or multiple years. You're not trying to make money today. If you need to make money today, I'll get to this in a second with what you need to be doing. But when do you start making money with this method? Here is where it really begins. At the end of every single email or at the end of every blog post, at the end of every video that you do, you're gonna have a soft call to action, soft pitch where you can, hey, get started today. We can take your dreams, turn them into reality, whatever you prefer to use, where you can then either link to them if it's on YouTube below to your website where they can sign up to get a quote or you put your phone number there. However, you prefer them to get in contact with you. You put that right there. You put that at the end of the email and at the end of the blog post, content video, whatever it is that you are sending them. That is where it all starts. And what this is telling a person is that hey, these guys have been informative and giving me good information. They actually do amazing work. And so then what you're gonna to wanna to be doing is continue sending them valuable content at least three to five times per month. You can either set this up with an automated funnel where it has a set amount of time between each email that's sent out, or you can also do broadcasts. If you're doing seasonal related things such as watering or irrigation, snow stuff, whatever it may be, you're gonna to wanna to do that with broadcasts or make sure that you change up when those automated emails are sent out based on the funnels and when you'd be getting these types of clients for these specific types of services. For example, don't be sending out pre-emergent application emails in the middle of summer. That is not the time to be doing that. Now the goal of this is to build a list for multiple reasons. Eventually you're going to convert at least one of these subscribers into paid clients. And the reason that this is so powerful is because the value per client is very, very high, especially when you're selling either one longer term maintenance services. And if you do good work, treat your clients well, the customer service and the whole experience is good, you're gonna have those clients stay on board for a long time. 
or two for an installation project. It only takes a $5,000 installation. And if you profit off that as a thousand bucks and you invested 10 hours on the front end to build out this email campaign, that's a pretty solid ROI in my opinion. It doesn't take too many new clients for this type of advertising to be profitable. Here's where this really comes into play. You need to treat your company's marketing strategies and your operations similar to how a big companies do their thing basically a calculated approach. For every X that we spend on advertising, we make back X, X in revenue, and then average margin is whatever it is. That's how you need to look at it. You have a list of clients that you spent X to acquire onto your list of whatever they are. They don't even have to be an email list. This could be just a list of people in your QuickBooks account. And then the average revenue and the average profit for each one of these is X. That's how you programmably scale, if that's a word, programmably, I have no idea. But that is how you can somewhat program your ability to scale and grow your business. And then when you have that kind of data, that is how you can make your company worth money in the future. This is exactly what I'm doing with Landscape Marketing Pros. What a concept. So here's where this gets really, really interesting and where your company's on a literal pedestal compared to the competition, I can almost guarantee you, unless your company is on the absolute cutting edge when it comes to marketing and you're doing things how internet marketers do it, not how every single lawn company does it because there's a big, big difference. But so now at this point here, you have some results for clients or maybe you already have client testimonials and imagery from previous jobs and all that type of stuff. What you're going to then do is create case studies with client installation projects, lawn transformation. Say you took one client's lawn and it was totally filled with weeds and you made it into a lush turf area or any host of things where it basically went from looking like garbage to looking amazing. Put that into a blog post or videos or, or have your clients go on video and do a video test testimonial, whatever you have to do to be able to showcase these results, because what you're going to be doing is sending this type of content in your emails to the people on your email list to further show them that your company gets really good results. You do amazing work, your customer service, the whole experience is amazing. And that's really what the whole goal is. Here's where you take this a step further and get it into something super advanced that almost, I would say less than 1% of the entire industry is doing. You take your email list and you upload that either to Facebook or AdWords and create custom audiences within the platform. If you want me to do a video on that, be sure to leave a comment down below. What you're gonna be doing is dispatching ads, retargeting those people that are on your email list. You can also set this up so that way it's also including people that viewed your website but didn't either call or didn't submit your contact form, send you an email, whatever it is that you want them to do. With these case studies, these results, basically the goal to show prospects that your company does amazing work and that they need to do business with you. And basically what you're trying to do and your entire goal is to decrease the pain of buying and increase the pain of not buying because the vast majority of people are going to do anything they can to avoid pain when it comes to buying something so when they see that oh their lawn looked like complete garbage they might be able to relate to that they can see that okay your company does amazing work. whether you totally remove their lawn and replace with new sod and irrigation and all that or you do fertilizing weed control whatever it is and that right there is how you win big with Facebook ads, especially when it comes to your outdoor service company. AdWords still works very, very well to warm audiences when you're targeting like the search. So say someone searches landscaping Minneapolis and you're showing up with your ads right there, that still works very well because that's a warm audience. But to try to convert cold traffic on an offer is extremely, extremely difficult and expensive unless you are amazing at selling. So you need to warm your audience up and get them onto your email list and get them to like you and build trust and rapport and then you can start retargeting them and that's where things become more effective and cheaper as a whole. And also with this method is that the people signing up to be on your email list want to be in communication with you. It's not like you're trying to force an offer onto someone who's literally just scrolling through Facebook or Instagram and wants to see pictures of their friends or, or whatever it is. When you're trying to give away a service or trying to sell a discounted service, people don't really respond very well to that. We've tested it dozens of times, it just doesn't work that great. And so here's the one catch with this method is that this is a longer term game plan to build a six or seven figure company as opposed to utilizing it to make some money immediately today because you're gonna have to take the time to build this out and if you're just relying on people coming to your website to get them to join your email list as opposed to running ads, it's definitely going to take a while and you're gonna have to essentially do manual labor online to get people to your website. And that's just the reality of it. You can certainly do paid ads on Facebook or Google Display Network, YouTube, all that to cold audiences to get them to opt into your email list. And that's where you start building the report and all that type of good stuff. If you want me to do more videos on this type of stuff, go down below and let me know. Now I know what you're probably thinking, oh, I gotta make some money today. Well, what you should be doing if you have to make money absolutely today with your business, pick up the phone and sell like crazy or start going door to door is really 
no other way around it or unless you're doing door hangers or postcards or whatever or if you really need money that badly you need to get a job to keep a roof over your head while you build your company's brand its following and your email list subscribers because combining all those three together will create a massively profitable and successful business i can almost guarantee it if you put in the work to do it if you're going to be doing this on your own and to set this up is going to be less than a hundred bucks if you're using one of the landing page builders such as optimized press or click funnels or unbound or any of those types of services However, that's not required. You could build this out on a standard WordPress website if you have just a free theme and you use hosting through one of the hosting companies, which is like 12 or 16 bucks a month. And then when it comes to actually getting your list and, and where it's stored, as well as all the emails that are sent out, you can use MailChimp for free up to 2,000 subscribers on your list with a max limit of, I believe, 12,000 emails per month. So that's six emails per month that you could send to 2,000 people. And if you reach 2,000 people onto your list that are interested in what it is that your company sells, you should be able to convert at least one of them into a paid client of some sort. Well, that effectively ends this rant on what asset is more important than a mower, skid loader, trailer, truck equipment, whatever it is, I don't care, because a bunch of customers all held in one database that you can communicate with at your desire is what is one of the only appreciating assets that you are going to own as a business. So anyways, if you like this type of content and want to learn more about marketing your business online, sales, scaling, all that type of good stuff, go below and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you smash that notification bell so that way you know when the newest content is uploaded here on the channel. My name is Matt Wasik, CEO, founder of Landscape Marketing Pros, and uh, that's all I got. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, and you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking